the jawline, the lips. I mean, ladies, what else do you fucking want, right? I got the beautiful sunlight shining through the FC sneaker factory window upon myself, but I know. I know you beautiful people out there, the fellas, oh, and that includes also the beautiful ladies, my cheerleaders, the ladies that I get, that gets my heart pumping. I mean, lady, shoes get my heart pumping, trust me. Ladies definitely get the heart pumping, oh, gets it fluttering. But I know I got you beautiful people out there that are just tuning in because I know that beautiful light is shining bright on you. My fucking winners out there, my smart people out there. When it comes to the sneaker YouTube genre, because I know my numbers are low, so therefore I know that number reflects the quality of the people that are subscribed to me. I know all you are smart. I know all you are fucking winners in life because you're tuning into my channel. Because you know what? Birds of a feather flock together. So therefore, if you're tuning into me, I'm successful and I'm good at what I fucking do. So therefore, I know you people want to flock to me. We all flock together because we're all fucking successful in life. I truly believe that. Now, for all those other people that have thousands and thousands of followers and subscribers, <laughs> I doubt some of those, I don't know. I, I really doubt that. I really highly doubt that. But what separates myself from those individuals, whether they're female or male, what separates myself from them and you'll see that if you're just wandering in, because my, my subscribers already see that. But if you're just wandering in, you're wondering, well, what's what makes you different from them? One, I'm fucking entertaining. Two, I call it how it is. I hold no punches when it comes to my content. I could give a shit about making any type of money here because I do it strictly for my own entertainment. And that's what makes me so fucking dangerous comparison to all those other channels is because here I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Over there they do because they're in it for the money. I have a great job. I make great money. I don't need this fucking YouTube money to to make me motivated to put content out there. No, I'm motivated because I am on my, I'm self-motivated. I have tons of shoes. They're all my shoes. And I wanna do profiles on them because one, I feel like you people deserve quality. You deserve somebody good looking, somebody has amazing skin to care has amazing hair, looks amazing as far as the fits go. I mean, and all, obviously dress is the fucking part, right? I'm just not like somebody that doesn't know how to dress. I definitely know how to dress and I'll stand up for you in a little bit in case you missed the four or three other episodes because we're on the fourth one here. But when it comes to my channel, quality. When it comes to my channel, amazing promos. When it comes to my channel, a true sneakerhead's perspective, unlike a lot of those other people that are just in it for monetary value or in it for the clout, I own all my shoes. These are all my shoes. No one sends me shoes to do reviews on them and then I send them back. No. Get the fuck out of here. No. I buy what I like. I buy what I want to preserve or want to wear. So let me put that out there right there, right out, right off the bat. I buy what I like. I don't buy what's fucking trending. I don't buy... Uh, because it's the new thing I don't buy just because it's a fucking early re or early release no I buy what I like these are all shoes that I love that I like that I want to preserve I want to wear let me go ahead and stand up for you I'm wearing this amazing this is actually a nice navy blue uh, you see that ALD Ahmed Leon Dior right there beautiful orange color amazing for this summer weather you see the great hit in the back Nice AG shorts. I love this style of shorts. These shorts go with everything, and I love it. The G-Shock 5610 right here. This is the NASA colorway. I love this. Beautiful NASA. And I'm, I'm seeing the prices on this jump up. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy, but just a great watch. I love it. Um, I got to work on the tan. Now, look at that. I'm fucking white, but look at the... Um, come on. I mean, I take care of myself because, one, I have self-respect for myself. And I respect you people out there. Of course, I got the, the sunlight shining. Of course, the beautiful doors are open for you beautiful people to come on in and witness me. Knock another motherfucker out of the park with this one. Because you know what? We are taking a look at when it comes to this segment. Or I should say when it comes to the four. The first four. Ronnie Fi collaborations. Keth collaborations with 
The first one was with ASICs and the other one was New Balance. Now let's take a look at another amazing New Balance, but this is actually a three-way collaboration. Let me go ahead and open the books because we are on Sneaker Profiles 354. 354 pages when it comes to my catalog of shoes. I mean, that's a fucking lot of pages. And the book is open. All right, so go ahead and relax. Sit tight. Let's take a look at another fucking gem right here. So this is a different style box. I always wanted this shoe when it first came out. Was not able to get my hands on this. This was way out before like when um, Kit decided to do the tier program. When they started finally rewarding their faithful uh, buyers, which is myself right here, I'm at the very top tier. So now I get like access to everything early. Um, unfortunately, at this time, I was not able to get access, or so I would have bought this one quick. But let's take a look at this. This is act. This was actually purchased on eBay, most recent too. This is the New Balance 997. This is a lifestyle. Beautiful size 10 and a half. I love that. Let's take a look at the inside of the box. Nothing crazy though going on. There is this, some wording in there. I'll let you pause it so you can read that. I'm not going to read it for you. You guys know how to read. Right there, got the eBay. And then right here, great tissue paper. It does have made in there. Um, and then you have the USA logo going on there. But no New Bounce um, branding, which is pretty weird. So you got that. The authentication um, card from eBay. Like I said, this was one of my most recent New Balance pickups. Absolutely love this shoe. Gorgeous shoe. Fell in love with the blue hits on this one. This shoe was released back in uh, November 21st of 2018 right here. So this was a 2018 drop. Like I said, though, this was a three-way collaboration. This was a collaboration, obviously, with New Balance. Obviously, with Ronnie Feige and Kit. And then also non-native. So I had to figure out what is non-native. Like what is that? What is that a brand? What like is that a person? Like who is this? Well, actually, this non-native is an actual Japanese label. And that is a person. This this company or this brand worked closely with the designer on the textural Adidas Ultra Boost Mid. So this is basically a hybrid shoe where it you know took from non-native obviously kit and then new bounce and they came together and put this amazing shoe together have not had a chance to wear it i'm definitely looking forward to it because it looks like the comfort level on this sucker would be amazing amazing right here um love like i said i love the blue hits on this absolutely just stunning with that blue and i love the browns i love the browns on this one as well so let's take a look at the materials. Let's take a look at the entire shoe. And let's go ahead and knock this one right now out of the park right here. So right here, you got a nylon upper toe box. But we'll get into that when we go when we take a look at the aerial view. But right here, beautiful. Beautiful, nice light brown suede on this. Amazing. You can even see the light brush strokes on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Right here as well, another amazing, like a caramel color a suede going on with amazing brush strokes as well on that and then right here towards the middle the middle window of the shoe you have a darker brown beautiful suede and you do see the brush strokes on that beautiful suede as well i love that that darker brown also runs through these three portions of the shoelaces and then after that you do got this nice hard plastic and that is in a like caramel color uh plastic right there and that's running through the remaining portion of the shoelaces and then down going towards the rear part of the shoe but it gets cut off right here it gets cut off with this amazing beautiful smooth brush stroke suede in that nice light brown color and then right here i love this little hit right there a little tab right there and it does have 997 embossed in it and that beautiful suede that in that nice light brown color that continues to run through towards the rear part I love the end. Absolutely love the end and that beautiful blue suede. I love that color. That's what really, like I said, that made me fall in love with this shoe. Little piece right here is a plastic piece in that brown color. Beautiful blue right here. That little piece right there going into the midsole. Right here, a nice uh, rubber type material when it comes going towards the rear part when it, it's attached to the midsole. 
Let's go back to this midsole though. This midsole is a nice light brown uh, color midsole. This is a little bit darker color. I love that little, just a little design right there in the midsole. And then you got a nice uh, darker, a nice colored beige midsole going on. It just says in cap reveal right there on there. And then this right here is all in that brown outsole. Gorgeous. So there's different color browns going on. And I'm going to point that out to you. You got a very light colored brown right here. That's one. You got a caramel colored brown. That's two. You got a darker colored brown right here. That's three. And this right here. This actually matches this brown. So I'm not going to count that. But this brown right here is a different shade of brown, which is four. Four different browns when it comes to this specific side or this specific shoe right here. Absolutely stunning though. New Balance sewn in on the rear part. This amazing light colored brown suede going on on the rear. You do have this uh, like 3D portion when it comes to the uh, midsole. Below that, you do see that AB Zorb, huge, but in that blue color. And then below that, you got a nice light, lighter color uh, brown uh, midsole. And then this uh, nice brown outsole right there. So you got a lot of different browns going on. And I love that. I love the different browns. And I love that they're all in that nice, amazing suede. So right here, pretty much identical. The medial is identical lateral side. Nothing has changed except there's no little tab right here. Where it, where it would say 997. That's the only thing that's missing. But besides that, you got the same thing going on. Oh, also the midsole is slightly different. We would have had like a little nice blue little hit right here when it comes to this portion. But that's missing as well when compared to the, um, the midsole and the lateral side. And then you don't have, obviously, you don't have the end cap reveal right here when it comes to that portion of the midsole. But besides that, you have the same same colors, the same materials all going through. This gorgeous light suede color going towards um, the upper ankle collar and then also going towards the middle portion of the medial side. This plastic right here in that nice, uh, like a caramel color um, plastic right here going towards these two shoelaces and then coming from the rear. Nice little plastic piece right here as well. The same 3D a portion when it comes to the outsole and then you got this nice light brown midsole traveling through the medial side and then this little piece right here is a little bit darker brown in color when it comes to that mid that medial uh, midsole beautiful brush stroke suede the continuation of that from from the lateral side but it is now giving it towards the medial side that beautiful end and that beautiful suede in the in the um in the medial side representing the new for New Balance right here. I love that. The caramel colored brush stroke suede. I love that. And then you got that nice light brown color suede when it comes to the mud guard. Right there. Love it. Look at that. Look at that front view. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the black laces, how that looks. Love this right here. The exposed uh, outsole. In that brown color, Let's take a look at the toe box. I mean, I'm sorry, the outsole because this is dead stock, so it hasn't been worn. Motion control device. You do have a darker brown inside that is that lighter brown, and then you got the nice light brown right here. Motion control in that darker brown and in that uh, dark brown on the on the heel portion. Love it. So I love the black laces because of the black tongue. Let's see that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You do got the mesh. Toe box in that nice light brown color. You see that, that nice caramel, beautiful colored suede. And then you got that nice darker suede going through the shoelaces. You do got an all black suede tongue. As you can see, beautiful, uh, nice uh, softness going on there. Black shoelaces, I'll leave those. New Balance, and then you got Made in USA and that beautiful, it's all sewn in in black. And then you got that nice black suede tongue. Inside, all blacked when it comes to the ankle collar and then the insole you got the nice light brown you got the new balance in white you got the keth uh, box in blue but you do have keth also in that nice light brown color and then na non-native in black so you're just giving away of the three-way collaboration new balance keth and then non-native absolutely gorgeous i mean my favorite part look at that aerial view absolutely amazing right there love it what do you think about this one? 
I mean, do, do you remember this one coming out? Were you a fan of it if you do? Or is this the first time you ever seen this? I mean, absolutely gorgeous three-way collaboration with New Balance. I just love that. Amazing, amazing shoe. A shoe that you just barely don't see very often. I had a hard time finding this one in my size, but also just a hard time even when it first came out. I'm not sure if they made a lot or they just people kept them. I'm just not sure about this one. It was really weird because I was like, man, I want that shoe. I was always looking for it, especially when it first came out and I could just never find it. So I was really like wondering if people just kept them and they wore them or if they just didn't release very many of them. Even now it's really, a, it's a really hard shoe to find. I was really excited to see that um, when I seen it on eBay. Cause I really, I check eBay from time to time when it comes to specific shoes. Especially when I see them going for a lot, like on StockX or GOAT. Or if I don't see them at all in there, I'll check on eBay. And sometimes I run across them. So I was very happy to see that one on eBay. And I managed to work out a deal with the with the, bot, or the seller. So let me know. Drop a comment down below. I would like to know what you think about the New Balance, the kit, and non-native collaboration there. But you know what? There you go. There you go with this one. That's 354 when it comes to these profiles right there and the book is closed on that moving on to the finale in a couple days make sure you tune in to the short tomorrow on this one but also definitely tune in to the finale when it comes to this segment i really appreciate that i'm trying to wrap these videos i got one more to go and then i can go ahead and go on with my day starting to looks like the sun's starting to come up even more now since it's a little bit getting later on in the morning i appreciate you hopefully I will see you in a couple of days, but you know what? In the meantime, check out the skin, check out the hair, and just know the beautiful ladies always say, Floyd, Mr. Wonderful, you are too. Damn. Sweet.